Hi, my name is Kevin from Corec and today in this video I'm just going to show you how to use feature codes in Trimble Access uh, 2018. Uh, for this example I've just created a project called feature codes, a job called codes. So I went into measure and I'm going into measure points. Okay. When I go into measure points you can see I have a sample down here, a string already, so BB and BB1. So if I use the hand and move over and I want to start a new line. So if I want to use a new string here, but I want to continue on using BB, I can actually go in here. So that will be my point. And then I can select in here BB. So when you're actually selecting the code, it gives the option of a code or description. So if I knew it was a bank, I can actually go to description and it'll show me all the descriptions associated with B. So bank, BB. If I knew the code, I could also go B and it'll always show BB. So you can customize these codes in the settings on your controller in feature libraries. So if I want to use BB, but now I want to create a new line, I don't want it to join to BB1, I put in BB2 and hit enter. Also, you notice if I went back into that code, you'll get extra options in here. So you can match the codes and filter, but if you're using the same codes all the time and you wanted to keep them at the top of the list, you can have on the auto feature. And what that does is when I delete my uh, codes, you'll see that I did a BB, BB1, and BB2. Okay, if I turn it off, they'll also disappear. Okay, so I go BB2, hit enter and then I just for this sample make it up to 100 hit store and then I'm gonna move the screen down a little bit and I'm gonna select the point up here so as we're surveying and go in there and I just key in 100 there and hit enter and store and that will draw the line if I wanted to just survey a point with no line uh, I can go over and pick something from the library that's just a point Okay, so if I highlight in there and just delete and just say I want to do a spot level so it's going to start with S so I'm going to type S and it's still not in that list I can scroll down along and I'll see where is the spot level which is there but if it's a description and I still didn't know what it was I can go into description just have S and type P and there's my spot level okay so if I go to my code and delete it out there and just type S P it's not there okay where I use capital letters S P there's no spot level there so I go to my description type spot and there spot level and I just key in the coordinates here so here key in and then I just make that uh, 90 and hit enter and store at any stage, if I want to create a new library or alter an existing library, I can go into the menu key, down to settings, and into my feature libraries, and then there I can add line strings and codes and control codes. Just show you an example of a control code. If I was using a new point here, so I'm just going to go down here, and I'm going to key in this point, and I'll use KB for curb so k so curb kb bottom hit that one b 100 and enter that so that's kb btm so i'll store that do another one here okay and then i'm going to move the hand just so you can see on the screen and go maybe here and go up to 70 and for an example for a control code so the next one this is going to be start of a curve okay so this one here is going to be a curve so what I'll do is go KB space and for example we set up KC S for curve start enter that give that an elevation 100 and hit store and then I'm going to go back to KB bottom again key this one here call that 90 again and then go here key in 
there. God, that's 70 maybe. And then you see it's doing a, a curve. So if I go to here and go C E, it's curve end. Hit start, and then that's the end of my curve. Okay. So also a nice little feature is if you want to do a start or a finish. Okay, so if you want to keep uh, instead of using the examples over here, KB1, KB2, uh, and so on and so on, you could actually go and use KB space start or end, which is also in uh, your library as a control code. Okay, so that's just a sample of using codes in your measure points. But also, I can go into the menu, go into measure and measure codes. In there, I can actually create um, a new group. Let's say, call it Corec. Enter there, accept that, and you'll get uh, three empty bars. Okay, so if I move over here to a fresh piece of the screen, I can hold down on the screen and say, I'm going to do a building as one. I'm going to have a, a code there called KB here. Enter. I'm going to have another one here called air valve and so on and so on. So when I actually hold down uh, any of these, I can measure um, uh, a point here instead of having to key it in. So Observation I stored. Survey points and go back into the menu so I can customize. Uh, the box down here says I'm going to use multiple um, codes. So if I had AV or KB, um, uh, bottom and I want to do a KB the bottom with a curve start I can actually hold down here and go into C S or C S so I'm going to use that enter and then you can have curve start or what you could do is press this button and have two of them and then you have a KB and curve start so that's just a quick few guides on using feature codes in Trimble Access. Thanks.